Skyler. iPhone 5 is a bit different from its predecessors in terms of wireless technology. And by a bit different, I mean a lot different. As far as cellular networks are concerned, it can connect to LTE, which at this point provides download maximums of about 300 megabits per second and an uplink of about 75 megabits per second. In your area, that's going to be a lot different than the theoretical maximum, but hey, at least it's capable of it. Now, what that means in practical use is that often when I'm at home, in my area, LTE is faster than Wi-Fi. And that's just because of the limitation imposed by my cable company on my particular tier of service. Now, that doesn't mean that iPhone itself is limited in terms of its Wi-Fi capability. Now, one thing that's different between iPhone 4S, 4, 3G, 3, and the original and iPhone 5 is that those other devices all connected only to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi base stations. But now, iPhone 5 can connect to either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. So what that means is that on a 2.4 gigahertz network, you'd see download speed of about, I don't know, 8.7 to 9 megabits per second on average, and around, I'd say, 4 to 5 up. On 5 gigahertz, though, you get something like 37 to 39 down, and 26 to 29 up. So obviously there's a really, really big difference between a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So between Wi-Fi and LTE, you've got much, much more capability in iPhone 5 than in any previous model. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.